Welcome back to Let's Play Control, Burning Dog fans. Last time I picked up this file, which was compiled by Remy Denis, Chief Investigator, by order of Director Zachariah Trench. Results overview the America Overnight Program. The America Overnight Program has operated successfully for over redacted years. Well, that would be a public record. Why is that redacted? Uh, originally designed to assist in providing disinformation to the naturally skeptical population of America, it has additionally led to the discovery of numerous AWEs and altered materials by allowing civilians to call in and report their experiences with the paranatural. In fact, America Overnight alerted the Bureau of Redacted and Redacted in its first year of operation alone. In this report, the investigation sector have catalog cataloged and categorized each episode of America Overnight that has resulted in a successful Bureau investigation in order to help AWE occurrence analysis. The more redacted results of Night Springs have also been cataloged in a separate result report. Ooh, Night Springs. That was a TV show that Alan Wake worked on before he started publishing novels. It's uh, basically the Twilight Zone, and it was an intentional inversion of the, t the name of the town that Alan Wake 1 took place in, which was Bright Falls. Uh, refer to file redacted for full report. Additionally, my lozenge wrapper says keep your chin up. Now, here's the thing. Uh, outside of the menu, I seem to have wandered into a room in Central Executive that I've never been in before. And I say that because there's three fucking things of lore in here? Oh, well, that one's a box, but still! Don't see them by the door first. Pope's promotion. Employee name, Pope Emily. Employee position, junior researcher. Report type, promotion. Outstanding, outstanding performance. That's a typo. Uh, Dr. Darling has personally recommended Ms. Pope for, pro for a promotion, based on her work ethic and assistance in advancing many ongoing research matters. See research reports redacted for breakthroughs resulting from her work. Recommendation. According to her colleagues, Pope has displayed a keen eye for detail and a quick grasp of paranatural concepts. She is professional and diligent, though some of her co-workers complain of social disinterest. The review committee approves of this recommendation and promotes Ms. Pope to the position of research specialist. So she's not a people person. I kind of noticed. Gets a bit distracted by the science and gets excited, you know? Stops paying attention to the uh, other people around her. This is Lynn Salvador. There's no way to fast no forward these. I'm making a formal security Which is annoying because I think I spaced out for one of the details. I didn't catch where they moved it to. 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. Yes, yes, they were the fucking in the quarry. Used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace. Behavior. Serious question: Why? An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. Noted. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location secured? Um... Ser no, seriously, I saw the quarry. It's like the least sexy place in the universe. Even this concrete-ass office is sexier than that. At least there are fucking tables and chairs. Oh, good, it's from the board. <clears throat> Certain resources loot can be. Constructed, crafted, into mods forms. We advocate facilitate this. At control points menus. Oh. This will only be available exclusive for the director. Do you realize that the, that the board just broke the fourth fucking wall? Menus? It knows that I'm looking at this shit in a menu! Okay, fuck that. Recent articles, Masao, Leol, Anne, Lynn, Sebastian, Jenna. Well, none of the rest of it means anything to me. 
I do look ridiculous. It's like I got promoted to uh, director and it went straight to my head. Just show up in a fucking gold suit like I'm the queen in yellow or something. Nope. Oops. Collective Unconscious. Oops. Uh, compiled by Paula Bronte and Lorenzo Dunn, researchers, by order of Emily Pope, research specialist. Collective Unconscious. Collective Unconscious, it, well, it's THE Collective Unconscious, not just Collective Unconscious. There's supposed to be a THE there, it's uh, an integral article. THE Collective Unconscious is defined as a form of the unconscious that is shared in all human minds. Like a, uh, like a big pool that all of our, uh, you know, minds to sort of swim around in. From this arises unconscious knowledge linking us through our ancestral heritage. See Young Report, pages 12 through 34. Through this collective unconscious, we unknowingly attribute a series of images and archetypes to all elements of our lives. These archetypes are never fixed, but shift and change in tandem with our species and culture. Did a human write this? A, this internal belief is in the, pow in the power of images, shared by a massive population, is redacted in the creation of altered items and objects of power. The sheer amount of redacted exuded is attracted to the best representation of that image, imbuing a single object with massive amounts of resonance. Let's be honest, that's what it said. Theoretically, places of power could likewise be formed by the simple power of sustained collective belief. So off the top of my head, if there were like a, a few million fans of the Night Springs show, and they really, really, really wished that the creepy town of Night Springs was a real place, it might spring into existence the way it did in Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Uh, refer to file 5-41-7532 for a full report. Uh, oh, I meant to do- I did mean to check something. Uh, no, no. Assets! House memory! Those are found in executive, which is why I only had one of them at the beginning of the session. I needed three of them to make something. How's it going? Was that door just locked before? Did I really just never wander in there? That's the radio. Those things are killing our buddies while we babysit the execs. You heard Marshall. We need to be smart about this. They've got control of the entire bureau. Fuck that! The longer we sit here, the worse it's gonna get. If you go out there, not only will you die, I will have to kill you again afterwards, so don't do it. I wonder why that one stayed. That one must have been a hung up by an actual person. Sorry, I'm just trying to read that uh, headline there. Time about machine agents? I don't know. Oh. Game about secret agents. Okay. Did you see me take down one of those flying motherfuckers? Nice. You want me to go to research? Haul it here for you to see? I'll do it. Doubt me again and I'll fucking do it. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but dead hiss evaporate after like seven seconds. Welcome back, Faden. Ah, oh, thank God. She finally dropped the other thing. There's something we're missing. It's a god of some kind. Where are the weapon upgrades? But This might help me remember. Shield Barrage. When released, shield propels debris at nearby enemies. Let's see. Oh! Oh, I know. I haven't actually been there yet, so I have to take the elevator. Welcome back. Sup? Actually, I'm leaving. I hope I. I hope the suit doesn't undercut the uh, the drama of reuniting with her brother. In fact, I'm actually seriously considering going to change for that reason, because it is a bit silly. You know, the golden suit of luck. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. You might as well be comfortable. Maybe if I dress in a clown costume, they won't uh, call me director. I doubt it. Containment, huh? I've been kind of avoiding this area, because this is, I noticed in all the reports, this is where they keep the deadly shit. And apparently the deadly people, because they just kidnap children. What really pissed me off about that is the implication that the only reason that Jesse hasn't been a prisoner here this entire time is because she was faster. Oh. Fuck. The containment sector, the Panopticon, is home to the altered items we find and contain. It is a maximum security prison. It's a vault for the most valuable treasures on Earth. It's a powder keg big enough to blow this world to dust. A temple, a place of worship filled with idols and angry gods. It's all of these, and none of them. It's something more profound, unbelievable. Oh, it's unbelievable, unbelievable all right. Something worse. Altered items, we've found many. They appear mundane, but nothing could be further from the truth. They're all powerful, dangerous. They press heavy on our minds because that's their nature. They've been altered because we can't stop thinking about them. We put them on altars because they're used to being worshipped. Oh god, they're all alive. Great. It keeps them calm. We contain them, but they don't want to be controlled. We study them to discover what makes them tick. If this place were ever breached, it would be chaos of biblical proportions. I mean, you kind of asked for it by putting all that shit in the same place. I'm just saying. God, they're not just evil, they're incompetent. Although I did really like the way James McCaffrey delivered that line. I can't remember if I said it. I looked it up and the, because uh, I felt bad renaming the other guy. Uh, it was Matthew Peretta who did the voice of uh, Alan Wake and who's playing uh, uh, Dr. Darling here. Containment sector. Panopticon. Altered items. Maximum security prison. Dangerous. This is probably the most normal thing I've seen here. What the fuck? I don't know, maybe this person was the photographer. While uh, in between videos, I heard one of the random scientists and executives say, uh, I wonder if other species would verbalize the hiss infection the way that humans seem to. I just thought that was an interesting thought. Entropic Echo. Category 2-29144, Containment. Now, if I pick that up, will it make that disappear? Because that would be really cool. Oh! Oh, dude! Ah! Sorry, house! Oh, fuck. Oh! They aren't supposed to fly like that! Um... Come on, come on. Yes! 
Oh, fuck. Didn't dodge fast enough. Ah! I didn't actually know there was a second shield guy. Piss drink. Oh, was there a hiss cluster there? I don't even notice the plus. Well, I guess it's like a white medical thing, but I should probably call it a plus because, uh... I think the Red Cross gets litigious when uh, people try to use their symbol for uh, video games. I remember some of the, the the more recent remakes of Doom actually removed the Red Cross from the health kits and replaced it with, uh... Like this little pill capsule symbol. Oh, it's not going there at all. Actually, was there a... No, there wasn't a lore in there. Perfect! Who wants some? Ah, oh, hell. They wrecked the office and the house just fixed, and I. Ah! Uh... <laughs> Fuck this. Oh no. I'm thinking about exactly how hard you would have to throw a cushion at someone to kill them. F. I didn't even touch the keyboard. Yes! No! Don't blow him up right next to yourself! is better. You don't even think to use there the power I just upgraded. What? Ahem. more like it. Certificate of Achievement for Years of Service to the Bureau. It doesn't even have a date on it. Huh. That does not look like it says Zachariah Trench, but what do I know? Why is it showing the keyboard controls? I tried unplugging it, plugging it back in, see if that works. Seems to be. There it is. Object and item distinctions. I was kind of wondering about that. Bob by Emily Pope, by order of Dr. Casper Darling. Examination of paranatural topics, object of power, and item altered... Altered item distinctions. While altered items and objects of power may seem similar at first, it's important to note some very key distinctions. Firstly, objects of power grant para-utilitarian abilities. See file PUT812 for an introduction to the subject. 
Secondly, objects of power uh, translocate anyone who makes physical contact to the astral plane. Okay, this is widely believed to be due to the, the board's affiliation with the objects of power. Not every individual is allowed in the astral plane, which indicates the board evaluates who can or cannot enter. Thirdly, and this is not always the case, objects of power are much more paranaturally redacted than altered items. Looking at the spe specific t criteria that defines an, an object of power, it is no wonder they are notably rarer than altered items. In fact, we have redacted altered items for every object of power contained within the Bureau. Refer to file 5-29-9485 for full report. I guess these don't give you powers, they just do things. Like, this one just follows you around, and this one propels itself around. I'm guessing someone in the helicopter was stupid enough to sit inside of it while it was, uh, in flight. Given that they said that it, uh, launches people out of it at high speed. Oops. Oh, that was a wall. Poor bastards. Material remote thought. Category 1-58592, Containment. Just in case you wanted to know what the little squiggly numbers were this time. The fuck is this? Oh, okay, it's one of those things that has a gas tank on the side, but it already blew up. Well, I need me an achievement, not an achievement, a uh, checkpoint. Also at Central Executive, one of those uh, security guys said that they've located uh, people in safe rooms all over the, uh, all over the Bureau, but that they're st telling them to stay put until they can uh, manufacture more HRAs. So I guess the... So I guess the doors must be made of black rock, huh? I am probably going to have to fight all these guys again next time, but, uh... Do quiet down every time you kill one of them. It's not just because that one isn't talking anymore. It's really interesting to me. Well, this room looks wrecked, but uh, all that really happened is I fucked up the window. Interesting. Yeah, that's right. A rocket streaked past me. I was, like, I was expecting to look over and see that it had totally destroyed the projector. Uh oh, my god. Ah well. I fucked up my own outro again. So, uh, from the top. I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Control. When we continue further into containment, and seek out Dylan. Later.